All right, next up for us, uh, race number two, 1800 metres uh, for the second. It's a class four contest headed by Playwise. We've got three horses dropping in class here. Playwise, Rule Lee and Salto Olimpico down in uh, class, but up to his winning trip. California legend will roll from the inside gate. Cheerful Star was a winner of this trip at uh, Charter in January. Dionysus Colin, third beaten favourite. Last time out, has been beaten favourite on his last four starts, in actual fact. Sangri, his only win to date, has been over this uh, course and distance. Curling Luxury, another one with speed from Barry Rate and Fortune Patrol behind Cheerful Leader last time out at Sha Tin over the mile. Curling Luxury is the horse that's been up at uh, Chung Far and back uh, within the last month. Having a look at the speed here, should be good up front, Curling Luxury, California Legend. You'd say with the, the heavier weight, California Legend will do, defer to uh, Curling Luxury into Jack Wong, who was trying the course and distance for the second time. Gala Knight took on California Legend uh, a couple of starts ago. Salto Olympico, uh, back to 1,800 metres, should be relatively handy, and Cheerful Star uh, there on the inside. But good pace for race two. Yeah, he's well rated now, Salto Olympico. Blake Sin will do, do the riding. He's got a little bit of an awkward draw in 10, but this is his go up and trip 1800 meters he's been over 101 in his last few starts he won't be that on uh, Wednesday night Dice's Colin has been very costly as uh, Andrew pointed out he's been favored his last four um, one of those who was beaten the head as well just on the on the bob but uh, look he's going well and he's got uh, a good draw Joe Marrera aboard once again or he comes back on and Sangri is only a one-time winner here in Hong Kong he, he's another horse that does work pretty well uh, 37 starts for that one win, numerous placings. So you're taking him on trust a bit if you like him. All right. OK, well, let's start off with uh, Salt Olympico. We saw him there in the uh, the track work. Let's hear from the man I'll be riding him, Blake Shin. Blake, Salt Olympico, down in class, up in distance, back to the valley. Are you jumping on at the right time on Wednesday? <laughs> I, hope you, I hope so, yes. It, um, it's been a good recipe for him in the past. He gets circumstances, I think, to suit him tomorrow night and um, I feel the horse is going well, well enough to run well and I think he'll be competitive. You rode him in a gallop on Monday, what sort of feel did he give you for the first time you've ridden him? Uh, he gave me a nice feel, he's a very casual horse, he's got a lovely demeanour about him and just wants to wants to please you in in that sense, he felt, felt great, uh, his energy levels were good, we weren't there to do too much um, but he's going well, he'll have the blinkers applied on Wednesday night, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quietly confident he's going to run a good race. Another horse in the race you've had a bit to do with is Full Power. You've ridden him at his last couple of runs. What's your assessment of him? Look, at last start, Full Power, I felt, was a little bit disappointing. He's a horse that possibly needs to build momentum at the right time, and I wasn't able to do that drawing barrier one last time. But in saying that, he had a, a nice enough run to show something, and I felt he was a little bit, little bit plain over the the final stages so you know if he repeats his run two starts ago he's right right in the mix but he's got a, a wide barrier to contend with and that's going to make it difficult you've been busy lately uh, congratulations really good weekend for your group two winner in sydney and also breaking of run of outs here on uh, sunday at shard 10 you must have enjoyed yourself yes definitely yeah thank you it was a it was a great weekend for myself i um was really happy to travel back home to australia and and ride a winner on a feature day, a group two, so that was really good for, for good good friends. And yeah, to come back to Hong Kong, uh, travelling back and riding a, a winner, like you say, we've had you know, a long, long run between winners, plenty of placings, and to get that winner again, it was a, it was a great feeling. There you go, Blake Shen on Salto Olympico primarily, and it says everything does look like it's fall into place for him as far as trip and class is concerned. So we'll keep moving though, see what his competition is like, including Cheerful Star and Bullish Glory. Now Cheerful Star, it took him a while to break through, but he did back in January. Yeah, he did, uh, won three runs ago and then stepped up over 2,000 metres here last time out and uh, boxed away fairly, beaten four lengths behind London Hall. He made a little bit of ground late, you can see him out three from the outside and the, the white cheek pieces just uh, starting to pick up uh, now over the final stages. The other one in this race, Bullish Glory, uh, he has run well course and distance before, but he was not involved here. Drew 12, Judge Heff will start there, so I think they got a bit further back than they'd like to. Coming back to Happy Valley, I think, is probably going to suit the horse a little bit. OK, Rule V's the last one uh, that we'll take a check on. He's had uh, one start in his class before in his place, and he is a course and distance winner as well. He's a bit of a monkey in the morning, this uh, horse Rule V. He pulls and Reeves gets his head to the side. Uh, this trial there, he finishes fourth. He's got Baron 9 with a reasonable weight here at 132. As you say, he's well-placed, um, uh, sort of rating-wise. But I left him out. He's come up favourite too, 
Yeah, I haven't got him in either, to be honest. Uh, Zach Purton, he's got a good uh, association with the horse, uh, a win and a placing from his four rides. Uh, battled out OK last time out, considering he was caught wide throughout. All right, so it might be a tactical sort of affair, um, Paul, but Rule Lee is actually our favourite at this stage. Yeah, no, I left him out. I've, I've put the second favourite in again. We're going to go again on Denise's Colin. I've made him the best in one of those four starts where he was gone favourite. He's, I think we've all had a crack at him at some stage, but look, um, the, the cross-nosed man will come off. He'll get his opportunity once again from Barrier 5. Chef will start uh, with a bit of draw. I think he'll run well. Salto Olimpico at the right trip. One we haven't talked about is the bottom one, which is Fortune Patrol. Uh, he steps up to 1,800 metres. I think will suit him. And this will be his second start for the new stable. And for the, his first start for the new stable, I thought he went really well. It was a really nice third. Uh, so I've got him in there for fourth. 8-5-3-12. Yeah, never laugh has uh, been able to come out of that race mm. and uh, win at the weekend out of that Fortune Patrol race. I'm with Dionysus Colin as well, horse number eight uh, for uh, Joe Maria Francis Loy. Should surely go close, uh, Dionysus Colin. Over 12 of uh, Fortune Patrol. Four California legend uh, goes in. If he gets a uh, uh, cheap enough run in the, the trail, because I think it'll set it up for curling luxury in front, he'll be there at the end. And Salto Olimpico number three. Eight, 12, four and three. Bank of the eight in the trio, Dionysus Colin. Yeah, I think it's probably the one to beat Dionysus Colin, but that's been the case. We've touched on three or four times in the past, so full power may be some value there in race number two.